What has this kind of experience walking this carpet today been like? I mean, I've gone to the previous uh, Marvel carpets, you know, but nothing is like this. I mean, crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I it's mean, totally different. Right there. Right? It's so it's crazy. different when it's your party. It, it is. It is, actually. Are you, are you seeing the movie for the first time in its entirety tonight? I've seen uh, different versions of it um, that still had cartoons and stuff, but I don't think anything's as perfect as the real thing. With a freaking crowd of people, um, I think it's going to be a fun experience. And um, I know I have some events coming up where I will have that experience with fans. What are you looking forward to most about watching it with the fans and, and really getting to experience their experience? I'm excited. I mean, this is going to be like one of a lifetime experiences for me, honestly. I mean, I know that Benedict and Lizzie have gone to their movies and movie premieres. Um, they've seen themselves on the screen, but this is a whole other thing for me. Um, I'm really excited. I might cry. No, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Uh-uh. I mean, not going to lie. Like, I would cry. Would you, though? Yeah. If I was in a Marvel movie, I would 100% cry. Right? Uh, right? I mean, it's only, it's only okay if I cry. It's like... It means you're moved. You're exactly. By the movie. Exactly. That's ex You said it for me. Well, you mentioned recently that Lizzie was someone that you really looked up to during this process. Was there anyone you directly asked for advice, whether it's someone on this movie or, you know, some of the other kind of like young Avengers we've got jumping in here? Not really. <laughs> I was just like, I guess I just wanted to, you know, blind myself in this entire spot, like this craziness. Um, but no, I mean, I really just enjoyed sitting in the background and like watching others um, and just kind of copying what they did and seeing what worked and what didn't. Um, cause that's actually the only way you can really grow. If you just actually practice and test it out and see if it works and if it doesn't and see what actually works for you as an actor. And um, I did that and I did that with Lizzie and I mean, it worked and I was like, oh, this is how it's supposed to go. This is how it's supposed to work. And I just saw it all click and I was like, great. Well, tell me about working with Sam Raimi and what were, were some of your like first, what was your first conversation with him like? Ooh, one of our first conversations. I think it was actually when I was doing TikToks. I was like, I was showing him some TikTok moves and he's like, what's that? What do you mean? Um, so, I mean, that was, that was cool. And that was funny. TikToks with billboards of your face in this movie. Oh my gosh, you saw that? <laughs> Yeah, that was my comeback. That was my comeback from when my TikTok got banned. I was like, guys, I'm back and I'm here to stay. You're like, I'm back, I'm here to stay, and I'm in a Marvel movie. Go see it on May 6th. Yes, exactly. What's better than self-promo, right? <laughs> All right, last thing. You know, if there's one thing that you can tell people about America Chavez, or, or what is most important to you about this character that you hope that people, you know, leave the theater with, um, you know, what would you say? I think especially for teens to feel represented as teens, um, you know, it's it's really crazy because I was 14 and she was 14. So, um, I mean, I feel like teens don't really get as much representation because they have like 20 year olds playing 15 year olds. So what's better than an actual 14 year old playing 14, right? Exactly. 14, <laughs> Latina, yes. uh, she, LGBTQ, she's yes. repping, she's repping across the board. Yes. And I'm very happy that I'm able to do that, you know.